Sure said Sunday. A bit windy up here. A little windy. Let's show you the dahlias. These are the Wilkies ones. Dried up bulbs that we'd left in for so long. Really pretty. Lily's still going. A bit of sh me shadowing. I'm going to dig up some one of my buckets of spuds, I think. I'm going to make a shepherd's pie before we head to the allotment. So one of these, even though they don't look like they're dying back much, this one's probably the yellowest. So I'm just going to dig that up and see if we've got any spuds to make a pie. Just making do with what we've got around here to have a look. Looks nice. If we get a few of those, that'll make a nice shepherd's pie. Right, let's get some order. Let's put the potatoes in here. You can see ants rolling around. Let's just try and tilt you down a little bit. There we go. It'll probably blow over. Another one there. Oh, nice. Look. No scab. Bit of a strange shape there, but nice. Nothing. What's going on here? So there's no, we've got about two potatoes out of that, but yeah, lots of ants, lots of red ants, that's it, lots of red ants. Let's put them all down into drying, I could do another one, it would have been nice if there was more of them, let's try the next one. and eggs galore and we've got a little pot to go and cook with happy Wednesday started off up the garden we've got a, a service guy here doing something with the tank in the lofts and he's blocked me in the dry so I can't get to the plot as soon as I would have liked, so it's not going to be too long, so I've decided to come up the garden. Here are our beans, lots of them. And again, these are just going to stay on the plant till they dry, and we'll serve these for the beans to put in soups and stews in the winter. My fennel's getting bigger by the day. Potatoes, still doing great. I said I harvested three of these buckets the other day. Some spuds to make some Cornish pasties and uh, leek and potato soup. But the ants had got into a couple of them, so nothing spectacular. Again, I don't think it's been a huge year for potatoes for a lot of people because of the weather. Uchkuri, a home one. He's doing all right. They're gonna take over the place, aren't they? Quick look, look at that. I've been removing these lower leaves, composting them from the old celeriac. 
sunflowers. Preferring this side, I think. And that's the ones at the allotment that have uh, seen better days, but this one's a multi-head one. I honestly think these seeds from these have come out of the compost yeah, they have that I tried growing sunflowers last year for Leo. And it didn't do too well because they were in pots. And now I know why. So yeah, chuck the seeds, the plants in the compost, and this is what resulted. Ooh, there's a lot of male flowers on that one. But then I just looked down. And there's something stripy growing there. Oh, there's a label, there's a label. Am Amazonata, Amazonata. I'm going to leave that. Oh, snap. There, snap. There we go. Just so I can see what that is a bit quickly. You are going to have to go around there, cross each other. I don't even know what day it is. Good Thursday morning. Bright and breezy. I think it's about seven in the morning. It's Trisha's birthday tomorrow. So I just had to get up early, wrap a present up. Oh, look at these compost bins. Full to bursting. Try the other one. Oh, there's a bit more space in this one. All the little bugs. Alright, first job done. Oh, it didn't get to the plot yesterday. Ended up um, just preserving, walking through the cobwebs. Preserving cucumbers. Um, made pizza dough because I made some homemade tomato sauce. That'll do for a spaghetti bolognese today. Let's say yesterday, it just did for a couple of pizzas. Um, so, yes, going down the plot today. Just want to show you something quickly. You know, this was the lettuce and leek bed at home already. These are little straggly ones that I put in that I missed when I pulled the rest out but look allium leaf mine up already but again these aren't supposed to be in here so I can't even grow onions in here now so it's going to be a beetroot and lettuce bed and I'll get a trowel today and just get the rest of these out a tiny little molehill there can cope with that. Let's push it back down. Some of the lettuce doing all right. The beans I showed you, I've since researched it, and these are fire tongue. They are fire tongue. I'm sure. And again, you can pick them young and eat it probably this size, chopped up. So we've got enough beans at the allotment to do that. So these ones I'm just going to save as balotti beans. Plenty of them. They can all dry. Down the plot. I left Trisha in bed we didn't come down yesterday. I'm going to get that greenhouse door open first and then a long awaited job of cutting um, the pipes. Cutting the pipes so I can get the beds ready. So I've got to get the spring on um, leaks. I've got to get my leaks in but I'm limited to where I can put them gonna be, have to be this bed and before it's actually a no dig 
ooh, ooh, ooh. Obviously we had the allium leaf miner in this bed, which prevents me using it again. But these are the cabbage I put in. They're looking all right. It's just a temporary covering again until I get the tubes cut and then I can fill this in. All right. Carrots. Look at that. Like I say, hardly any weeds because it's a no dig. So you know what? I'm, there's no way I'm going to put my leeks in there until I've made it no dig. And depending on spacing, that bit's no dig at the end. I could just put them in there. Let's see if I can get this in. The bean arch. Old patty pan's only just getting going. He was supposed to come up this bit. So yes. Excuse my shadow, I've got more beans to pick there, which is good. And look, they're starting to hang down now. But yeah, another batch of beans to pick there. Oh, little spider web weft. Courgettes, not too many, not like everybody else's. I'll have to tame this back because it's growing into the path. Let's have a look at this butternut squash now. I know where to look. Oh, he's still fairly small. Let's go up the other plot and open the greenhouse. In fact, I'm going to take my basket up. It's got my Cornish pasty and I made yesterday. Plant labels, dog balls for the site manager's dog when we see it. Waft, waft. Oh, I dodged the plums. Oh God, plum on the head. You seeing the plums there? Look at the mushrooms. And a little cricket. Can you see him? He's gonna move in a minute, I'm sure. Maybe not, maybe I freaked him out. There we go. Jiminy. Jiminy cricket. In amongst the little mushrooms on the path. Quite cute. <sighs> Open. I can smell melon. warm in here oh these are going over should have come and got them yesterday and that one I'm gonna pick them another good prune I had in here yeah the powdered mildew is just terrible now so the ones I can get away with cutting down I will more cucumbers oh. This came back to fruiting quite heavily. Tomatoes, I thought it might be in a bit riper because of the warm weather we've just had. Splitting but good. Raised plot. Always busy. These were the new outdoor gherkins. They're doing all right. Yeah, and powdery mildew, I need to come and cut a few of these older leaves off anyway. Alright, less walking around and filming and more doing today, I'm afraid. The ornate gourds. Peas. I've got some manure I picked up the other day. I was going to turn the compost bin. Almost down to nothing, but I need to empty this one first. That's a weekend job. Again, no fruits on those. Hey ho. Spider web. Look at these carrots. Fantastic. I don't know if we showed you this the other day. Trisha's nailed down the floor. 
nice and level, sturdy. Just slid those two bits in at the end to fill that out. And it's good. Her next job, she said, is a, a whole day of doing whatever she was going to do. Not even sure. Got to give that palette breaker back. But yeah, more plastic up the rest of it and then all the wooden slats. This is just to hold the plastic on at the moment, but she'll be doing all the wooden slats to make a wooden slat wall. Um, not sure what she's doing with the roof. But yeah. Good, that's cabbage are doing all right. Not sure where they're going. Um, I think they're gonna have to go in the bed down there with the rest of the others once I make those. Um, archways with the saw. Right, let's get to it. What I've just seen, you see for the sun, a pea. Just one, just two, there's another one, I don't think you can see, there you go, you're just about, I'll be having a look later and getting a couple of peas off there, peas and carrots, Oops, stacking it, look at these beans, they're doing good, check these tomatoes over, stuff on these ones but they can come off this one plant here seems to have had a bit of that dry stuff on the bottom oh, like that is that blossom end rot or the start of not sure it hasn't affected the rest of the plant just the odd tomato so far four melons can smell them, they're probably overripe. Never mind, we should have come down yesterday, shouldn't we? Let's get them in here in the shade. Trish is coming down in about an hour. She's got to go and pick some more tomatoes, and then I'm going to go and saw the hoops. Well, here's a different angle for you. My plot neighbour Ray has just given me a load of Victoria plums, they are delicious. He said, you've just got to check for worms. Um, and then I was chatting to a plot neighbour and forgot to check and just ate the lot. So, hey, a few Victoria plums and they are beautiful. Very sweet. So, and I've still not got down there yet to do the tubing. But I'm heading down there now. And check as if I've locked the van on the way in as well. Right, I've had to pull my leeks up. Um, white rot and rust deep joy so what i'm gonna do another carrot bed alongside that one in the other cold frame a straggly beetroot here i think i'm gonna fill this in with some more beetroot now do that today it's just working on getting things covered so i'm getting there three pipes some netting fortunately these are all the same kind of cabbage <laughs> <laughs> Inundated with cabbage. Oh wow, it's so hot. We go from one extreme to the other in this country, don't we? Well, these are my cabbages in. Not the way they were going to go, because I like mine in the cages I have on plot two. But there's not a lot else I've got ready to go in this bed. Um, again, onions, leek, and garlics are out. Um, I'm not sure if I've just told you I've had to pull my other ones up. Bit of white rot, bit of rust, bit of allium leaf liner, even though they'll be covered. So, I won't be growing those, although a plot neighbour's just given me a name of a, an onion she grows one plot on and it does fine. Uncovered too. So, those are my cabbages, slightly too many. Six, seven, eight, ten, fourteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-seven cabbages so I'm gonna get them covered when I go to the shop and get a nice cold drink because it's cooking I've done a quick weed as well with a speed hoe so everything's looking a bit neater I did all the edges the other day again unfilmed bit of advice from a couple of neighbors now 
whack some flowers in. Um, she said maybe that will do something rather than just having vegetables everywhere. Um, get some flowers in, which I've done at this side of the plot, haven't I? Calendula, um, mizinias, more calendula, zinnias and marigolds down that side. So I'll have a think and get some some ideas going. Again, maybe a foot at the end of each bed. A bit like my neighbour's done that. There's a flower at the end of each of his beds. Must be the trick. Right, let me go and get that covered. And I'll see you soon. Oh, right, temporary, temporarily covered. The blue bit's the finished bit. And I need to cut, I think, three more. Maybe four more hoops, batten them in at the top, and uh, that'll be a bed sorted. This one I am going to cardboard and uh, turn into a no dig at the field of beans in. I'll take up these dried uh, field bean canes. The top square's already done, but it's just this other bit. This is the rutabago. Is it Swede? Yes, Swede. I don't think you can see very well. There we go. They're doing all right, getting bigger by the day. Somebody's just said they have trouble growing them here, so I'll keep an eye. Lettuce, a bit sporadic. Filling that in. I may stick some more lettuce out here if I've got any. And this bit down here, as I said, I'm just going to stick in some more beetroot just to fill the rest of that bed up. Um, at some stage this cutting celery is coming up. At the moment it's just suppressing the weeds. I'm going to put some carrots in here today. Somebody's giving me some more leeks, mussel bra. So I'm going to stick them in today. I'm going to go put some carrot seeds in and then finish my bed up. Wanna see the size of my carrot? Oh wow. Have a go, I must throw. Let's see if I can get it in the compost tape. <laughs> need more practice. There's my pumpkin in the compost pile which I need to turn. It's getting pretty full. Hedgehog domain, I've not seen one. Right, finally home. What time is it? Ten to four. I was down the allotment, or eight o'clock-ish. I've been down there eight hours. Oh my goodness. There we go. Uh, a couple of little carrots. There are some bigger ones, isn't there? A round head of cabbage that I found that needed picking. Lots of runners. Three or four melons. A big carrot. Some broccoli. A couple of little beetroot. Plums off Ray, my neighbour. What were they called? Victoria Plum. Another quick update. Well, not really an update, just showing you what I'm doing. Oh, I've probably lost him now. You know, I told you I put the... the leeks... out in this bed, and then I pulled them up. But the very tiny ones, I couldn't... I didn't even see these ones. So these have obviously grown. But yeah. I am leaf miner just seen one of the worms but he's gone little golden thing so this is going to be a beetroot bed i think now can't grow let um can't grow onions garlic or leeks in either of these two bed now good saturday morning been so busy not got this week's video up the usual time I will crack on and do that this afternoon. Saturday video. Saturday upload for last week. Too, too, too busy. Trisha's birthday. We had Leo. Um, home garden. 
just been literally weeding hours and hours weeding because I like it just so and that's a bit boring to film so down here today seeing what I can crop just checking over the health of tomato plants uh, I dug up a few spuds from the home garden this morning I wasn't sure if there was blight on the leaves it's like black with yellow around it but the rest of the plant looks fine there's no no, no um, black stems or anything so I wasn't sure I'll Google that. But they were red potatoes, so I'm not sure even what they were. Um, so yeah, let's get down here. Let's have a look what we've got. Put my basket down. More beans. We had some the other day, even Trisha's not a bean lover, but she likes these. So I'll have some more of those. Crop some of those. I finally took the net in. We were down here the other day and I didn't do any filming because I just had to crack on. So much to do. Um, but yeah, I took the net in and the cages off these. I need to get some sort of fencing at the back just to train them into. That's a blackberry and a tayberry. Again, gooseberry bushes because I don't want them going over there. I need like a little fence along one side of those. Look at these zinnias. Doing amazing. Like everybody else, a little bee having a bit of a nap in there. Butcher Cooley. Look at me not counting for once. It's looking a lot tidier down here, as you can see. I just literally hoed, weeded, did all the jobs that needed doing, trailing squash plants where I want them to go. Those leaves look a bit strange, don't they? That's my courgette plant, but I'm sure it's not not 100% because we've not had loads off it. Right, so there's one there today, that looks great. But the other one, can you see them mottled ones? Looks like it's got cellulitis. So yeah, we've got one courgette on there. I'll leave the other one just to get a bit bigger. Thought. So these need watering. One, two, three. Six rows of Autumn King 2. And I've put the cold frame around them because it seemed to do the job on these. More hoops needed to finish this off. These are looking all right. The one that was a little bit limp when I came down the other day is pulled through. But these are the cabbage. Far too many. <laughs> far, far too many, but they're surviving any slug damage. Pigeons were down having a good old look, but then obviously they would get down here and realise they can't can't get to them. That's a whole bed of cabbage. Look at the size of that apple. Jesus, that's huge. These are Bramley cooking apples. My neighbours get them in the compost. Dropping off. So right, that's a cabbage bed not finished, but I'm not coming down there to do that today. Uh, just get loads of tubes cut. Get a bit of uniform going on the plots. So we've got some sweet corn to pick on here. Been freezing that. A few more tomatoes. That are... I thought I'd just come down and check for a dreaded blight, but everything's looking okay. Touch wood. Yeah, there's a couple of uh, those today. I made the most delicious tomato sauce the other day. It was literally tomatoes and garlic cooked down and just pass through a sieve and we're gonna enjoy that later with some I've got some organic mints and we made a spaghetti bolognese and Leo's coming so he will love that there's a nice cucumber from my outdoor plants the first one I'm not sure how successful these will be now oh I don't want you going down I want you climbing up here they might need caning. It's coming off. Black Russian. It smells divine. Let's just have a look what Trisha did the other day. Oh, it's so windy. So she's just done the undercoat on the frame around the windows and around the roof. That's going to be white. I think she's just going to go over this again by the looks of it. I 
accidentally smashed the window, so we're going to have to look for a pane of glass. We got a glass cutter off Amazon, but it wasn't good. Maybe the glass was a bit brittle and it just snapped us as she scored it. So we've just got a bit of plastic there for now. Right. Somebody gave me his muscle bra leaks. I need to get them in somewhere just as an experiment. Let's get an ear out the wind. Right, the melons. I took three or four home the other day. And then it wasn't as ripe. Those two have turned yellow, so I'm assuming that the plant's not got enough. That is it now. It looks looking a bit sad. Um, I might just cut them off and see, but I think it's had it. Um, this, can you see on the stem? The mildew's got to that. But I didn't cut that off because there's one melon here and he's looking all right. So I'm just trying to get him to finish off. Oh, fuck, more cucumbers. Look at the size of them. Oh, my God. Some nice ones. Again, the, um, what was this one called? Mini Munch. I thought that I'd had it. Give it a good cut back and look. Started fruiting again. And so has the um, market more. Bloody amazing. Absolutely amazing. And to say that the plants, like I said, succumbing to the mouldy mildew. Yeah. I literally cut everything back. Cleared it out in here, left the wind, the door open. And there's only one plant left on this Minnesota midget. Because there's two melons on it, I've left it. Um, and we'll see what becomes of them. Plenty of tomatoes, as you can see, to take out of here. The size of that one. Again, I'm going to make the tomato sauce. But no signs of B-L-I-G-H-T in here. Thank goodness. Great big things. Well, I think that's gonna be about it today, folks. This is what I had at home. Let me just show you, but is that blight? Or is that just old age? <laughs> the stems, there's nothing black on the stems. Black, black, black. Oh, look at that beast that's just crawled out. Fecking Nora. Jesus, he was a beast, wasn't he? I think I'll need gloves. <laughs>